Gary Barnett and a resurgent Northwestern team, 3-1, and one, the first time they've had a 3-1 and one record since 1963. And you can see the last time they won at Michigan, Elvis was just starting to swivel his hips. Northwestern won the toss and deferred. And Lloyd Carr's Michigan Wolverines will touch it first as he huddles his troops around him. Former defensive coordinator and now the head man here in Ann Arbor. Both teams 1-0 in the Big Ten. Northwestern having beaten Indiana a week ago, 31-7. And Michigan's Big Ten win was over Illinois. From Ann Arbor, number seven. And number 25. And Amani Tuber will shag it at the goal line and bring it out. Trying to cut to the outside and got the corner. Nice job, though. Balazizi, the kicker, somehow made a shoestring tackle. And with him, Tim Diakobatuka still trying to get his shoulder back to 100%. Joins him in the backfield. Chris Floyd is the fullback. The wide receivers, they've been doubling up a lot on Amani Toomer. That's opened up Mercury Hayes to lead the club in catches, yards, and touchdowns. Toomer and Reimersma join the wide receiver and tight end core. Joe Marinero, co-captain, leads a group up front with Jansen, Payne, Adali, and Runyon. And a first down, Michigan, from its own 24-yard line. Diakabatuka, left side. Diakabatuka got about six he up front. He leads them in sacks and tackles for loss, along with Roby Rice and Warren. Pat Fitzgerald's the leading tackler, the inside linebacker. With Sutter and Shine. And in the secondary, Eric Collier, the leading tackler in the secondary, joins Martin Ray and Bennett. Second down at four. Three wide out group for Michigan. And Brian Greasy's first throw upcoming. Plenty of time across the middle. It's Toomer. And it's a first down across the 35 to the 36. First down, Michigan. From its own 37 yard line. Tight end in motion. Greasy wants to throw the wide out screen to Toomer. And Toomer lost his footing. And Pat Fitzgerald on a second and nine. Blitz coming. Greasy got it away. Wanted to throw a screen to Bianca Batuka. Third down conversions on the year. Michigan has struggled a bit in that department. They've got third down and nine. Greasy over the middle, wide open. Reamers with a tight end. Stiff arms a man, and he's got a first down out to the 49-yard line. He is a full-fledged tight end. First down at the 49. The Akabatuka across midfield into Northwestern territory near the 48 at the Northwestern 48-yard line. Yakubatuka found an alley on the right side and blasts his way inside the 40 down near the 38-yard line. That, another Michigan first down at the Wildcats 38. Left side, the Yakubatuka. And again, he takes a couple would-be tacklers with it. Second and five. Hayes, the motion man. They're going to keep the Yakubatuka on the ground this time. They're going to stop him as Fitzgerald came up from the middle linebacker. Third and four. Williams is checking in at the tailback. Greasy to pass, and he goes to Williams, a freshman out of the backfield, has a first down as he's knocked out at the 26-yard line. Three tight ends set for the Wolverines at the 26 of Northwestern. Williams on the ground this time, inside the 25. Neither of these teams has given up any points in the first quarter. It is in jeopardy right now as Michigan is approaching the Northwestern red zone. Greasy, nice play, fake, might want it all. Going for Hayes in the corner. Got it! Nope, out of bounds. Chris Martin, the cornerback, was covering. And we're going to try to take advantage of it this year. Third and eight, here comes a blitz. Greasy throws the out to Toomer, and he couldn't handle it. So Northwestern comes with a pressure. Hamilton, you see his numbers, eight of ten on the season. It's a 41-yard field goal attempt. And he's got it right down State Street. Michigan on the board first in their opening drive. 41-yard kick is good with 9.33 left first quarter. It's the Wolverines by three. Second down and 10. Yakubatuka has got an opening. And he's into the secondary. Tamunga by Akabatuka waits for his blockers. Cuts back inside the 25. He might take it. 
all the way to the 15-yard line. And that's what the Michigan faithful's been waiting to see from the end of the first quarter. They've got the lead. It's only a field goal at the end of one. Been threatening again with a first down up the Northwestern 15-yard line. Yakubatuka. He got him here, and he's got him six more inside the 10. Tight end set. Mercury Hayes, the lone wide out. The counter to Diakabatuka, down to the one. I thought that was a little bit of a mix-up. Diakabatuka has seven rushing touchdowns this year already. He won't get one here as Sutter. Well, they've run it 12 times and passed it 12 times so far in the ball game. Second down at goal, just outside the two. Three tight ends. Diakabatuka, left side, nothing doing. Wrapped up, Collier's got a piece of him, so does Fitzgerald. So Tumor and Hayes, the wideouts, third and goal, outside the three. And now it's an empty backfield, Diakabatuka in motion. Greasy's going to get blitzed, throws, Tumor behind him, and Chris Martin broke it up. I mean, Hamilton's already hit 41. This is a 21-yard chip shot attempt from the left hand. And Michigan adds to its lead. But, as Gary said, Northwestern comes up with a defensive stop. 12.43 to go in the half. Michigan 6-0. Sandwich as we'll get another look at Zankowitz and Horn coming up the middle and then watch the end of the play. Right in the head from Simmons, who was running by. Adrian, how is Steve Schneer on the sideline? And with the impact of that injury, it's no surprise that he got what's called a stinger. And Second down and eight, meanwhile, for Chris Andor. Trying to get Northwestern in scoring position. And now apparently changing up the play at the line of scrimmage. Looks to the right the whole way and goes out complete. Broken tackle by Waterman. And he's going to pick up extra yardage out of it. With 6 25 left in the half. Northwestern still with an opportunity to take the lead before halftime. Flags down as Autry. Oof. Is he tagged by Steve King from the second day? Irons. As we look at the signal on that one. As Irons looks at a first and 15 for the opposition. Northwestern at the Michigan 35 yard line. Handor has plenty of time. Deep in the middle. Got his man. It's Waterman at the 10 yard line. Handorf's three for three. One to the tight end, two to Waterman. Pulling out, trying to lead Autry. Autry looking for the corner, and King will not let him have it. And right into the Northwestern drum section. Second down and nine. 54% of touchdowns inside the 20. Autry trying to weave his way, broke one tackle, but he goes down at the seven-yard line. Third down at six. Tenth play of the Northwestern drive. Michigan's in a blitz situation. Here they come. Snap was late. Let's see. Prior to the snap, ball starts. All five. Five yard penalty. Repeat, third down. I do not expect Michigan to blitz. I think they'll drop in a zone. Tenth play of the Northwestern drive. Pressure. The throw is incomplete. Sam Valenzuzzi, a 29 yard attempt. He hasn't missed yet this year. Seven straight field goals. Eight straight field goals. Northwestern would have loved to have had the lead with 4.15 left in the half, but they'll settle for the three-pointer, and that cuts the Michigan advantage to 6-3. 6-3, Michigan. Nice kick by Dallas Cece. Sends Mercury Hayes to the four, where he one-hops it. And now cuts outside, look out, got the corner. Hayes with a stiff ball down the sideline, ran out of real estate. He may have been off to the races. And he gives Michigan the opportunity to try to work down to points. Plenty of time, 407. Play action for Greasy. Throws out to Hayes, hit immediately. Ball with progress, the second down and six at the three and a half minute mark. Bianca Batugo will try the left side, and he's going to be close to a first down, about a yard short. Diaka Batuka off to the races before Collier can catch up with him. And has his team a first down at the 36 of Northwestern. Greasy. And that one got away from him and almost intercepted. Struck the ball. Wow. On the second and 10, Michigan. 
They fake it to him, and Grease is wide open as he wants to throw back near side to Williams. Almost intercepted. Great play by Rodney Ray. A little bit too much air on that pass. I think he thought he had him wide open. He didn't want to miss him. Third down of 10 now. Greasy fires out. Reber's going the flat. Can he get to the stick? No. Northwestern will stop him at the 29-yard line. Fitzgerald and Sutter. The Williams, the freshman, in the backfield. On fourth down of three. Greasy fires. Almost intercepted. Somebody got a hand on it in route. And Northwestern has come up with another stop. Steve Schnurr back in at quarterback. Archie's going to get it on the draw. Throw. They're going to throw. Maybe. Nope. Schnurr goes down again. Steele got to him. Second down, 16. Autry finally found himself a little bit of breathing room, and he got out across the original line of scrimmage to the 30-yard line. I don't think you're going to see a very a, a safe pass if they throw it. Look, Michigan, did they jump? Autry. And he gets out. He's short of the first down by about a yard. And a snap clean. And over and punt. Toomer waits on it. Fair catch, and he dropped the ball. Northwestern covered it. At least I thought so. They did. Northwestern gets a break as Tilber dropped it after the fair catch. He's one throw into the end zone to Bates, the way he can get up and catch the ball. Ryan Russo in as a third wide receiver with Beasley and Bates. Schnurr across the middle, and he got it to Autry, and Autry down to the 22-yard line. Second down of three. That might be academic. Let's see what they do. Schnurr. There's the short drop, Autry over the middle. Autry down to the 11, and now will that's, time run out? That's the one thing that they could not do. They will wind it right there. Schnurr, and he grounds it with five seconds left. You're gonna, you're gonna knock off Michigan, you gotta take chances. Ballard sees to try to tie it before halftime. Whoops, somebody got a piece of it, but it goes through. Either that or it was a knuckleball of all times, but Sam still perfect. Two for two today. Perfect on the year. Nine straight for number 27, and he's tied things up with one tick of the clock left before intermission. From the 20, the Michigan opening offensive series, third quarter. 12.52 left in the third in the tie game. Mercury Hayes in motion. Yakubatuka, left side, Yakubatuka breaks the tackle, and he's got about nine. 122 on the day for Yakubatuka, maybe on his way to a career high. That earlier this year against Memphis. Here he comes the other way. Touch back. Broke one tackle, and he's out near the 33 before two. On his own 34-yard line. Here's Greasy off play action. Throws the out to Hayes. Hayes stops and goes, and got it out for another first down to pick up 13. Another first down, back-to-back -back first down for Michigan. Clarence Williams checks in the backfield for the Wolverines. And on the counter, he goes down for a big loss. Fitzgerald, loss of four. Second down of 14. Yakubatuka back in the Michigan backfield. Here comes a corner blitz. Yakubatuka into the secondary. Here he goes again. Give him about 20 more. First down, the 38. Here he goes again. Yakubatuka down to the 32-yard line. He had over 50 yards on the ground last week. To the backfield now, a second and four. He gets the call, and that's why they're excited. Clarence Williams all the way to the three-yard line. First and goal, Michigan. Tie game. Trying to change that to the Wolverines. Williams hit at the line. Nice penetration. Kind of hopes Michigan will bunt here. That's what he's hoping for. Williams. Oh, and Sutter makes the stop again. Well, Northwestern hasn't given up anything in the third quarter, but they had that stat for first quarter, too, and maybe can change to Greasy on a bootleg. Might keep it. To the end zone, touchdown! point coming up. First touchdown of the game and Hamilton's extra point is good with eight minutes and two seconds remaining in the third quarter. Brian Greasy's put the Michigan Wolverines in front by a touchdown. The kick away for the Wolverines. Shorter kick and high. He's going to have to hustle and he dropped it. Michigan may cover it. They've got it. 
Uh, Northwestern's in a blitz situation. Let's see if they go up top on him. Hayes and Tumor to the bottom of your screen. Greasy off play action. Wants it all on the first plant pass. It's Hayes. Can't quite handle it. Nice job defensively by Chris Martin. They've been out there a long time with a three wide outs for Greasy to go with the draw. Bianca Batuka broke a tackle inside the 10. Flags down as Bianca Batuka scores. But it might come back on a holding call. 23 yards. Touchdown if it stays up. I don't think so. Holding. Michigan. Second down at 13. At the Northwestern 26. Bianca Batuka. He'll go straight up the middle this time. Got to the 20. That's it. Tumor has his two catches today. Mercury Hayes has four. Greasy's looking for Hayes. Right off the number nine. What? Perfect today. 41 and 21. This will be from 37 yards away. Reamer's going to hold. Kick. No. Pushed it to the left. And now Northwestern really gets a break. They gave Michigan a golden opportunity, and it turned 13-6 Michigan. Schnur off play action. Winds it and goes to Beasley out to the 35-yard line. Now with the mixed field goal, was he in? We both looked at each other. This referee signal, but watch. Knees are down right here. Let's freeze it. Right as his knees go down, his head isn't even across the line. And that was a third down play. He did not score on this. Michigan got a very good call. First down at the 36, Beasley's first catch of the day. And now back to Autry. He hasn't been able to break one today, but he's got one here. Autry for about 16. Watch him as he stutter steps to the line. He isn't going 100%. They've been pumping water off this PAT turf all week. It's rained a lot in this part of the country, as it has much of the country, thanks to Hurricane Opal. And second down at seven. 6-0-7, left third quarter. And a seven-point difference. Northwestern trying to even things up. Nice play fake by Schnur. Bates, home run ball, overshot it. Bates was out there. Look out, Schnur got it away somehow. He got a first down toss. First down, Northwestern from Michigan, 30. Autry, long handoff. Waits for his blockers. He's starting now to get it going a little bit. Seventh play, the Northwestern drive. On a second and three, it's Autry again. Broke a tackle, and he's got a first down at the 17-yard line. First down at the 17 of Michigan. Autry again. This time, maybe two. That's about it. Got it down to the 15. There's the numbers today. See only 28 today. He's got to make people miss. Blitz coming. Schnur to the end zone. Bates just couldn't quite get up high enough for it. Well, Michigan faithful with a play clock winding down to the last instant. Schnur to the end zone. And he overshot everybody. It'll be a 32-yarder for Sam Valencisi, the senior out of Westlake, Ohio. Remember his last one was very low. From 32. Just tucked that one in as well. So valencisi has got all the Northwestern points. They had a pretty good looking drive, and as Gary said, they used a lot of clock to get down there. Three minutes, 48 seconds, remaining third quarter. And Northwestern's cut the Michigan lead down to four. We start the fourth quarter with Michigan leading by four and facing a third down and a yard. At the 26 yard line. Blitz coming. The give. The Akabatuka enough for the first down. The guy who's got playing, playing quarterback is a guy, Brian Greasy, who says he just loves talking football with. And here he comes off play action. High throw intercepted. Collier's got it. Collier comes near side on the pick, and he goes out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Second turnover of the day, and as Adrian said, maybe a turnover will be the difference. Bates in motion. Double pass. He's Bates got wants to throw and goes down the middle of the tight end. And he's got it at the five-yard line. It's Darren Drexler. 26 yards. Well, it sets up shop for the Wildcats with a chance to take the lead. First and goal of the Michigan five. Now you got the number two rusher in the country. You give him the ball, don't you? But he doesn't get anything. 
No gain on the play. Two tight ends set. Graham and Drexler, the lone wide out is Bates, who threw the pass that got him down here. Second and goal at the five. A sprint draw to Autry, who cuts it up. Got a couple, but that's it. Obviously a huge third down for both groups. Third and goal at the two, Northwestern. I'm going to run the ball. Play action. Open is Harlow. Touchdown. Matt Harlow, the fullback, and Northwestern lead. And Harlow's legs came out from under him on the play. He was very fortunate. A touchdown on a play, a play action pass. It could go either way. And it's up and good. And a penalty marker. Wait a minute. On the play. A dead ball. Personal foul. On the offense. After the point. Point is good. Enforcement on the kickoff. Post play foul. And they're going to have to kick off deep in their own territory. But Steve Schnurr pulled the trigger to his pullback for the touchdown in the Northwestern lead. And they're in a game, and Michigan's in a fight for their life. They have to kick off the 20 because of the personal foul penalty after the extra point. Toomer takes it the 18 yard line. And Toomer. Battles his way out near the 40. So what Michigan needed was the Akabatuka. Not much. Maybe two. Second down and eight. Tim's got a little bit of grass and mud on the helmet. They fake it to him. Greasy sets up. Wanted a long ball, and now he comes out on the scramble. And he's got a first down at the 49 of Northwestern, 10 yards. The only problem is, just as Adrian is doing that report, it uh, looked like Zankowicz is the guy that came up in there and got in everybody's face. Hayes and Toomer, along with Richards, the three wideouts. Blitz coming. And the Akinatuga broke the tackle of the blitz by Ismaili. It was 20 yards or 80 yards or 100 yards. It's a game. Third and seven, blitz coming on Greasy. And they get to him. The ball is loose, and Northwestern has covered it. Ismaili came on the blitz, and he's got the football. They're thinking, let's give it to number 24 about 15 times on a drive. But the first <laughs> problem is Jared Irons. Second and 14. Play action for Schnurr. He's got Bates going deep for Bates. And he's got it. All the way to the five-yard line. Clarence Thompson trying to stay with him. And now they'll use as much clock as they can. Down close. First and goal of the Michigan Six. Autry to the four. Steve King. They need a touchdown. But you see that clock and you see what they do with it. Just barely got that off. Play action. Schnurr. Going to throw it away. And they have third and goal at the four. And Gary Barnett says he'll take a time out here. His team doesn't see him make that gesture. And it's Schnurr to the corner for Waterman. Not quite. Hasn't missed in his last 10 attempts. A funny angle from the right hash mark, but this could put Northwestern up by six. He's got it. Eight minutes and 42 seconds remaining in what could be an upset. But it's only a six-point difference, so don't count out the Wolverines. And they're going to call Michigan for an illegal substitution that time and give them a five-yard penalty. Well, I got to say that they're one of the teams. And he comes out, and they don't really know what to have. Three wideouts. Richards, the third, is in motion. Here comes the blitz. And it's Williams, the freshman with fresh legs. And he goes down to the 48. He's an old TA of mine. That's right. Started to hear it in Michigan. Third down a long yard. Williams has it to the 45, maybe even the 44-yard line. Let's not panic. Let's run the ball. Five straight runs on this drive. Six straight. Bianca Batuka, and he drags people with him that time. Second down and a long six. Down near the three-minute mark. Michigan trying to come from behind a win. Bianca Batuka on the right side, and he's got the wheels turning. It's stopped, though, by William Bennett, short of a first down. Last play of the game against Virginia. It's going to come back down to the end. Greasy, quarterback sneak, should have it. 
There's the timeout situation. Making it got two left. Here comes a blitz on Greasy, who loads and goes long. Toomer can't quite get it in the corner. And both Toomer and Chris Martin for the Wildcats. The Akabatuka. Football's loose, covered by Michigan. Two for two on third downs on this drive on the Wolverines. They need a big one here. Three wide outs for Brian Greasy. Here comes a blitz from Ismaili, and he got him as he got rid of the football. Last play for him. Last chance for Michigan. Fourth and 15. They're going to bring it again. Greasy hit as he throws. It is intercepted by Bennett. Greasy still down. Fitzgerald hit him again. And Northwestern just have to fall on the ball, and they're going to beat Notre Dame and Michigan in the same season. And who could make that claim? I don't even know if I could think of a team right offhand. The leadership of some of our elder statesmen, the seniors. How sweet must this be? And here's Autry now. And Autry cuts outside and finally breaks one. He wants to stay in bounds now. But he stepped out at the 48-yard line. His longest run of the day, 28 yards, an upset of Notre Dame, and soon to be an upset of the Michigan Wolverines. A knee for Schnur. And Schnur, who came back from being banged up early in the game. Gary Barnett's 25th-ranked Wildcats will move up in the national polls. They go to 4-1. and one. They have beaten the Michigan Wolverines in Ann Arbor. And how about what he said to his players? I don't want any Gatorade, and I don't want to be carried off. We think we can win the football game. Let's act like we expected to win. He's still dry, and he's still on his feet. <laughs> and boy, this Northwestern program is on its feet. Final score, Northwestern 19, Michigan 13, in an upset from the Big House.